A crow holding a piece of meat in its beak was flying in the sky looking for a place to sit and eat it. Suddenly, he saw a flock of eagles chasing him. Anxious to save his life, the crow started flying higher and higher. Yet the eagles wouldn't let go and kept chasing him. Seeing the plight of the crow, a wise old owl sitting on a tall tree asked him, What's wrong with you, my friend? You look very disturbed. And why are you flying in such a state of panic? The crow replied, Look at these eagles. They are after my life. They want to kill me. The wise owl said, They are not after you to kill you, dear. All they want is the piece of meat you are holding in your beak. Just drop it and see the magic. The crow followed the advice of the owl. Let go of the piece of meat and there you go. All the eagles flew towards the falling piece of meat and the crow could now fly even higher. Isn't this true in our life as well? We hold on to the piece of meat, that money which is not ours and are always attacked by the eagles of fear of it being snatched away. We hold on to the piece of meat, our position, only for namesake, where we do nothing but simply take advantages from occupying that position. And then we are attacked by the eagles of negative vibes from our equals and subordinates who know that we are glued to that chair and are a chairman simply for namesake. In our relationships as well, we hold on to that piece of meat, prejudices, opinions, grudges, incidents from the past only to allow eagles of apathy, non-cooperation, misunderstandings, conflict, hatred from others to attack us. In our personal lives as well, we hold on to that piece of meat. Our bad habits, our conditionings, our comfort zones, our sense of security and settlement. And then we are attacked by the eagles of complacency, lethargy, negativity. Ladies and gentlemen, I know it's hard to let go of that piece of meat. But if we do, those inner eagles will stop chasing us and we can fly even higher in our life.